emotions like the day of your big league managerial debut? Hey, Steve. Uh, man, uh, you know, I'm, I'm super excited. Super excited. I know it's, it's, been, a, it's been a long wait. I mean, uh, for um, the entire team in there, I mean, we've, we've gone through a lot, and I'm, I'm speaking for, for probably everyone in baseball. I mean, I watched, I watched uh, you know, part of those two games last night, and it, and it, felt, it felt so good just to watch uh, baseball. And then, you know, those, those emotions, obviously, today entering our game, uh, you know, it's going to be special when the guys when the guys take the field. So, definitely very excited. Uh, you know, we look back and you know we've we've done a lot, we accomplish a lot. I know, I know there's a lot to be done, and uh, you know, it, it's just it's just super exciting, you know, to get to this day. You know, you you tinkered a bunch in summer camp with different looks, different lineups. You had McNeil leading off some, Nimmo leading off some, uh, Cano hitting third a bunch. Why did you end up settling on the lineup you did today? Yeah, uh, I mean, as you guys know, we've you know we play a ton of inner squads, and we did we did play the two games against the Yankees, and you know we, I, I said it before we played around with the guys in different spots in the lineup, and we have we have guys uh, that you know they they have the ability to hit in different spots in, in the lineup, and, um, and there's so much depth, you know that that tells you right there just from from saying that you know guys that profile with hitting in the top, and then a lot of guys that profile to hit in the middle of the lineup, and you know, and, and eventually, since there's, there's, you know, so many of them, that will make the lineup deep. And, you know, guys will be hitting in an A spot like Ramos is today, um, that he's hit in the fifth spot before. He's been a cleanup before, you know. And um, same with JD. And, you know, we see Robinson hitting six. These guys hit third before. They hit cleanup before. And uh, that's, that's the depth that we have. And uh, doing it in the spring, I mean, a lot of times we're, to get to get at bats, a lot of time was to get the field on, on some sequences to see the guys hitting one behind the other, um, and to face certain pitchers and different things like that. But you know, today is just this is this is our opening day lineup where we know that you know we have the depth, we know that we we can have guys you know in sequences behind the other, and we have individuals that can get on base, individuals that can drive in runs, and they can hit in different situations. And um, you know, we we feel that that lineup is the one that's going to help us you know achieve a win today. Thanks. Our next question comes from Disha Dozar. Hey, Louie. I know you said you're excited, but just as your first opening day as a big league manager, what does that excitement look like? Did you get enough sleep last night? Did you maybe get a text from another big league manager? Uh, I did. I did get some sleep, uh, Disha. I, I, you know, I, I slept. I slept right. I did watch a little bit of both games, like. Like I said earlier, I couldn't. You know, the second late game, I wanted to turn it off every inning. It kept going one-one. I left it one-one, and I saw the the result earlier today. But I did. I did get get my sleep, get get my rest, get my preparation done, like I do at home. I, I like to prepare at home, uh, and uh, I did t uh, get texts from other managers, and I did text uh, other managers as well. Um, you know, I've been getting a lot of texts from you know close friends and. Uh, people in the baseball world, and and you know, I, I definitely appreciate those. And you know, it feels it's a very special day. Um, you know, go, going out there with the team for so long, and we've been preparing uh, like other teams have twice. You know, going to a, to one camp and then another camp now, and uh, you know, it, it just feels great. You know, to 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 have a start the season. Kind of along those same lines, does it cross your mind at all that your family or friends won't be in the stands for your first game today? It, it does, you know, it does, but it's, it's uh, some of the things that we've adapted to and uh, we, we worked on that and we got, I think we got that out of the way now and we know that they'll be watching. We feel them and, uh, you know, speaking for the guys in there, they know, they know fans will be watching, they know family will be watching and, uh, you know, that they're rooting for them, they're pulling for them. So um, it's, it's just, it's, it's a great, great sense of motivation as well for us to go out there and, and get, the, uh, get this season started. Our next question is from Justin Toscano. Hey, Louis. Hope you're well. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you guys have been through so much, as is every team in, in baseball. But before opening day, like, how do you address the team? What's your message going to be, you know, after you guys have gone through what you have and to finally get to step on the field? Well, for us, it's going to be to have fun, Justin. It's, it's going, to come down, going to come down to that. We get to play the, 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 the game we love. Uh, you know, we, we get to, uh, you know, represent the game this year. It's been, it's been such a tough year. And, and uh, you know, 
to, to get us to where we are today. And, you know, we're, we're representing the game starting starting today. And then I know this is this is going to be in history, you know, just how long we've, we've waited, you know, for a day like this or a day like, you know, yesterday, which was, you know, the first two games of, of the season. So just representing that is, uh, you know, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's fun itself, you know, and I think uh, that's the number one thing for us. Just let's have fun every day. Let's remind each other to have fun every day. Uh, you know, stay within the protocols that we've, you know, we've been so strict about and at the same time have fun, have that camaraderie that uh, I think distinguishes us, you know, in the, in the clubhouse and, and out there on the field. Thank you. Next question comes from Tony DeComo. Hey, Louie. Uh, when you look at your lineup, how much do you like the idea of having continuity as in having a similar lineup every day, guys know where they're hitting versus a more fluid one where uh, maybe you mix and match a little more and guys don't necessarily know. Well, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't believe much in like one lineup set or one lineup wins and it's got to stay. Uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's the, it's the sequencing, the continuation of, of you know, guys, uh, one behind the other. Protection, uh, a lot is taken in consideration um, for potential matchups later in games as well. Guys that can get on, you know, guys that don't necessarily mean a, you know, a double play in the, in some sequences. I mean, there's a lot to take in consideration. Um, I've had talks with the guys, you know, just so they can have an anticipation where in the lineup they, they could be hitting, you know, throughout, throughout the season. And, uh, you know, and, and it's just, you know, a lot of, a lot of that is going to, is going to determine it's going to be the pitcher that we're facing. That's going to determine that also it will come into play on how the guys are swinging the bat It's going to come into play. A lot of things will come into play to, uh, to put, put lineup together in order, in order for us to, man, to maintain that sequence and, uh, and manufacture runs. Thank you. Our next question comes from Mike Puma. Louie, I'm just uh, wondering, have you decided on uh, a rotation uh, beyond Sunday yet? And, uh, if not, what's, what's going into that decision? Well, we're, we're, we're meeting as a coaching staff. I have the, you know, pitching coaches and uh, I should, you know, I should be knowing uh, later today, you know, it's, uh, um, and, I, and I can definitely pass it to you guys. But uh, as of now, we're set till Sunday and then, you know, we'll, we'll reassess with you guys. Everything's okay physically with Walker, is that correct? He is fine. Yes, he is fine. Our next question is from Tim Healy. Hi, Luis. Under normal circumstances in your debut and on opening day, you'd be joined, I imagine, by quite a bit of family at the ballpark. Since these aren't normal circumstances, I was just curious where your wife and son, where your father, where Moises are all watching this game from. Uh, I mean, first, you know, my, my wife is, you know, fortunately she's here in New York. Uh, so, you know, she'll, I know she'll be watching, you know, with my son. Um, you know, who's a who's a big big Mets fan, uh, by the way. So they'll they'll be watching. My I know my father will be watching from Florida, with uh, you know my sister, my brother, um, and you know Moises is in the Dominican along with you know another brother that I have there will be watching as well. And uh, you know, the families are in different locations now. You know this is this is how times are, and you know, they've been away. I haven't seen them in a while, but you know it's just. Uh, you know, it's it's. I feel the. I'll feel the watching. I'll feel the 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 uh, the those their support, and uh, you know, there'll there'll be a couple of phone calls before game time, where I reach out to them and connect with them before before the game starts. And and where in Florida is your dad? He's in the West Palm Beach area, Boynton Beach area. Gotcha. Thank you. Next question is from John Harper. Hey, Louie, with, with this uh, the 60 game schedule, I'm sure you've thought about it. Is there such a thing for you as managing with more urgency 60 games as, a, as opposed to 162? And if so, how, how would that kind of look? Uh, how would you think about that? Uh, well, I mean, it, it, the game, it's the game will speak to you. And, and you know, you, you, you prepare each day, uh, you know, the win now, the win today approach is, is the right approach for me. You know, we're preparing for this game today. We're preparing to, you know, our hitters, you know, go after Mike Soroka and, you know, for Jake to to go through their lineup today. And, 
you know, hard, have our defensive positioning, you know, to according to how they put the ball, the balls in play, and you know, just just be ready fundamentally as well. And we'll, that that will be our approach. And you know, the game the game will speak, you know, to you as it goes as well. We have guys prepared for different roles, guys that can come in early and shut down, and uh, guys that can pitch uh, also late and and you know get stuff done. So. We, uh, you know, we have a good roster. We're prepared. Everyone, everyone knows their role as of now, and uh, you know our approach is going to be just just on a day on a day approach. But right now, just to say, okay, we're going to be quicker. We're going to be take more, uh, take different decisions. It's, it's just like for me, getting a little bit ahead of you know what you know watching the game, what's going on out there. We do have the guys prepared for different scenarios, and uh, like I said, it's today's the biggest the, the biggest game. So you know we'll we'll approach it that way. Thanks. Next question comes from Tony Dencomo. Hey, Louie, I was just wondering if your dad gave you any particular piece of advice or anything leading into opening day. There's always uh, advice in there, you know, in all in all our talks. Uh, you know, life and baseball, and you know, he he always drops something in there, and and uh, it's it's always so much appreciated because uh, you know some of them is. It's stuff that I heard before, but it's, you know, still appreciating, and they go, they go with the moment. But you know, it's um, he, he always he just wishes wishes us the best, you know, and you know, gives us the blessing. Um, like you know, the fa- it says the family's been blessed, you know, with with baseball, and um, so it's just you know, super excited, super super uh, uh, proud of you know just just the moment, and you know that I'm that I'm you know gonna start my man my managerial career uh, today. And uh, you know, I haven't talked to him today. By the way, I will I will connect with him probably later uh, this afternoon. But uh, you know, it's every every time we talk, there's there's a piece piece of advice there. Does he does he at all talk to you about specifics? Like, will he critique your lineup choices or your pitching changes, or is he a little more, you know, up on a different level? No, not 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 so much not so much in that. Uh, but you know, just particularly in its uh, stories. You know, from from his past managing, his past experience, and my stories. You know, my experiences as a manager, and we we balance those. It's always great to share um, amazing baseball story that he that he had as a player and as a manager and as a coach. Uh, um, you know, and you know, and you know, I, I've I've always shared him, with him. You know, stories that I feel that I've been through as well. You know, and, uh, and you know, it's just great to hear and balance them and. Kind of like anticipate some of the things that may happen in the game, you know, that he's all he's already lived. So nothing as specific as far as like lineups or anything like that, but just just more so like you know experience as a manager and as a player. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Lennon. Hey, Louis. Uh, just with the lineup, when when did you kind of come to that conclusion? I know for the exhibition games against the Yankees, you used a couple of different ones. Did you like early in the week kind of think about it? Did you late last night kind of write some things down? I'm just curious what the kind of the process was for it. I mean, David, to tell you the truth, I, 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 you know, written down so many lineups and uh, they, they, you know, they all look right because of the depth that we have. And uh, I mean, when we when we were at the uh, at the break, you know, after the first camp, I mean, I was I was thinking lineups. I have plenty of time there to take lineups, so it's nothing that just came out the last couple of days. It's nothing that you know last week. It's it's I, I had it in mind, I, you know, with you know Nemo at the top, you know, getting on base, McNeil, you know, who's such a great hitter, just being right behind him. He can have some traffic, uh, and then you know if you can create even more traffic when Pete comes in, you know, it's so those three there, and then you know Conforto protecting, and then Cespedes is protecting Conforto, and then the righty lefty. With uh, Cano and Cess, you know that's so I've been playing with it for I don't know how far back I can go, uh, but it's it's just for me it feels like a great sequence. And and then the last three that I mentioned earlier in this call, I mean this, those guys, they had incredible offensive years last year as well, you know, for us. And uh, it, I think that tells you how much depth we have. Thanks, Lee. Next question comes from Rich Catino. Hey, Louie, uh, when you look at your bullpen, you have a lot of options there on, you know, who do you use as a closer? Are you a fan of having one guy having role as a closer or end or a setup guy? Or are we going to see different closers each day the Mets have a closer situation based on the matchups? Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 
For me, I, as the season goes, I, I would like to go more so into one person, but I would like to keep it open so more people can also have the chance to close a game because we have that. Um, we have guys that close before. We have guys that uh, can def can match up really well also against other guys, you know, and just to, you know, pitching at the end of the game, we have guys like uh, Betances, uh, Diaz, Wilson, um, you know, Lugo there that can be a, also a versatile, a versatile uh, um, bullpen pitcher. You know, he can come in early for multiple innings. He can come in late for multiple innings. He can close a game. And, you know, Diaz can, can also close a game. You know, Wilson can also close a game. So, you know, I, 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 I like the idea of having one guy that gets prepared for that inning, but I also like the idea of different guys that can come in and also do it. So, you know, we may be seeing that, and uh, we may be seeing one guy that gets more chances. Both Diaz and Familia are coming off years, which they want to rebound from. What did you see in the summer camp from them that, in your mind, thinks they're headed in the right direction? Both both had really good camps. Uh, Diaz, um, uh, first with Familia. Familia, you know, you guys you guys saw what he did, uh, you know, shape that he brought, all the, all the work that he's put in uh, just to start. And then adding stuff to his repertoire more control, more able to repeat uh, with delivery. Uh, he's super excited. I mean, he can't, he can't wait for the season to start. And uh, he's a guy that we, you know, we expect to uh, have him, him bounce back from, from uh, you know, and be the, the familiar that he's been uh, uh, here in New York. And he can definitely do some things, too, at the, at the last or of the game. Uh, and we can see with this repertoire, just adding another pitch, we can see a guy that can get, you know, more than three outs probably. And... You know, with Diaz also, that's adding stuff to his repertoire, more commanding now to his to his extension side and doing other things. I I like where he is right now. Um, definitely have all the confidence in him. So, you know, we, we should see him there as well. You know, in that in that you know last third of the game. Thanks, Louis. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon, Luis. All right, guys. Happy opening day. <laughs>